when we decide to do something that impacts the quality of life for our members, the community just comes together and there's example after example after example of it. You know, farming's been an economy of scale and the big just keep getting bigger and it's tougher every year to compete. I don't think because you're going to put solar panels up on these farms that agriculture will stop existing. We didn't take this decision lightly. We didn't just do this on a whim or just because of the money. I saw some opportunities that we could keep using the land. You know, we'd be allowed to be a part of it. You know, other people would allow to be a part of it. And I think it could benefit everyone a whole lot more than the way we're currently doing it. Corn takes a pound to a pound and a quarter of nitrogen per bushel that you're raising. That's all fine if the crop uses it all up. And that's to get your best yield. So if you get a hailstorm, you don't have the crop out there to to use this nitrogen up, it's gonna start going down. They had to put that new well and all that piping in and all that, and that's over a million dollars because our other two wells were contaminated with nitrates. For one thing, we won't be pulling any out of there, out of the water table anymore to irrigate. And there will be no pesticides used or very, very restricted amounts. We have a wonderful school down here, but it takes money. You know, the school's gonna get a, a pretty good charge of money to them and well, it's gonna help the county, it's gonna help the fire district, every, everybody. Development, economic development, increasing the property base is the only way to keep property taxes in line. I can tell you I wouldn't have signed up any of my property for this if I thought it was gonna hurt anyone. It'll open a lot of, a lot of doors for a lot of people that, that wouldn't be able to get involved in agriculture, and I like that. I, we don't have enough farmers. We don't have enough people that are doing this. And if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't have signed up for it. You know, we have to do our part once in a while. If you put 40 years on this stuff not having corn on it, there's going to be some fantastic uh, yielding fields out here in 40 years time. Things just don't happen overnight. It takes time. It changes hard for everybody, even when you have a growth mindset. Change is also good because it's moving the community forward, making the community more sustainable.